Hey guys, Toro 81 here with another review. Today I'm going to be showing you guys my collection. I've had a number of requests on both Facebook, Instagram, YouTube about my collection and people wanting to see the whole thing. So I got one display case and then there's a couple of things that are still in uh, storage bins and it's impossible to really get everything out. Um, but once I get a house, I'm, I'm looking into getting a house now. Once that goes through, I'm thinking of getting a man cave and just lining it all up with these figures. But um, yeah, without further ado, let's go ahead and uh, do a close up here for you guys. And uh, based on what you guys see, um, go ahead and let me know if there's a figure that you guys would like reviewed. And I'll go ahead and do that for you. Starting over here. We got a black Giga Brain King Ghidorah, my favorite sculpt. This one right here was a gift by one of the neighbors. You see these guys in Walmart and stuff. It's pretty big, pretty awesome. Uh, this right here, Giga Brain Ghidorah. Uh, in my opinion, this is the best sculpt for Ghidorah. Not my favorite Ghidorah, but my favorite sculpt. But I think this is the best one. Closed Mouth Giga Brain, Van Presto, Millennium Godzilla that I painted myself. There goes the little NECA Godzilla right here, 2014. I had a couple of boxes from the Marusan minifigures. This right here was a gift from a friend of mine, Chris, very dear friend. Went to Japan and you know saw that, picked it up for me. Red Giga Brain, King Ghidorah green this is uh, I have a couple of Bandai's left I sold off most of them and I still have a few I love Attack on Titan as you can see this Godzilla right here was meant to go on my truck but I just <laughs> I don't want it to get worn so oh well we'll move right here into the first shelf you got the Orga black Orga right there is one of my favorite villains very underrated. I wish you would have gotten more time on screen. Giant Desu Goji in the back over there. This badass M1. Oh yeah, that, that thing is sexy. I absolutely love that thing. If you can get one, get it. It's amazing. Mechagiris. M1. Marmot. Desu Goji, badass. Love this thing. One of my favorites when it comes to Marmot is the Miri Goji. Got this beautiful red bastard right there. Biolante, epic. She's fucking gorgeous. That's a Marmot. And this little mini Marusan. Godzilla 1984. Very epic, very awesome, very sexy. I'm actively hunting the red one of these. It's very nice. GMK is one of my other favorite Godzillas. I got three favorite sculpts when it comes to the Marmot Godzillas. This is a little Gashapon that I had painted myself, Orga. In the back here, we have another giant Desu Goji. Sorry about that. Mothra, bro blocking it and again GMK Mothra M1 very awesome beautiful figure move back down here Marmot Batra this is actually the Mike Johnson G Fest exclusive Batra if you look at it it's a little different it's it's actually filled with tinsel gave it a really nice look I did the same thing with this Giga Brain King Goji opened it up filled it with tinsel now it really pops it looks really nice with that tinsel in it in the back Globsters Marmot Globsters King Caesar one of my very favorite figures in the collection is this Mecha Godzilla painted by James Osborne Final Kaiju Legion y'all Godzilla little gash up on busted chest and the giant marmot King Goji. 
We'll move down to the next shelf here. Start off with another one. Like I said, favorite sculpt, Miri Goji. Fucking badass. I got quite a couple of these guys. M1 GMK. Very awesome. This is a sexy figure right here. Hidora. Very uh, awesome. Very amazing. And this is my favorite um, Hidora out there. I don't think it's the best sculpt, the best representation, but I do believe this is the best Hidora out there. This guy's clear black with glitter. Very awesome. Gorosaur, the fucking badass. I'm actively hunting the metallic blue one. Shin Godzilla. Marmot Shin Godzilla. Um, I'm not going to bash on Marmot. I love Marmot. But I think they could have done a little better with this guy. It's a super tall figure. It's really tall. It's real slender. I think they could have done a little more with it. My uh, favorite um, Shin, in my opinion, best looking one out there right now would have to be the Passion Tank. Desu Goji. Purple. Godzilla Vinyl Wars. Little Varon. And Gears, Glitter Marusan. I never got around to thank uh, Jeffrey Mullick. I found out a little late that he had a little a hand in me getting this. This was a gift from my wife. And uh, she went ahead and got in contact with him. Bottom behind my back. GMK, King Ghidorah. Very awesome, very epic. I love Ghidorah. I got quite a couple of figures of it. Recently acquired Goro M1. Painted by James Osborne of Vinyl Kaiju Legion. There you go. Bandai Gamera. Signed by Hirofumi Fukuzawa. The suit actor. Baby Gorgo. M1 Godzilla 2000. With the tag. The epically sexy GMK glitter. Marmot glitter GMK. Very sexy right there. In the back, Kido Goji. Very awesome. Kiryu. Marmot Kiryu. I went ahead and uh, fixed up the legs. A lot of the this figure in particular is real bad for for being um, warped right here in the legs. So you just kind of heat them up, separate them, let that cool off. Fixed it right up. Giga Brain Gigan, very epic. Sorry for any glare, or anything that's being caught, guys. This is a display case. It's kind of hard to get it with the glass and whatnot. Here we got another Giga Brain Hidora, Sun Guts Barogun, Marmot Batra, Badass, Vino Wars, Trend Masters Biolante. That's an old figure right there. Another Miri Goji, Godzilla Vinyl Wars, Godzilla Vinyl Wars Marmot GMK. There you go, Ruado Goji. That I wish they would have made more figures of that. I'm right now. I'm hunting the glitter, a black glitter of that guy. He's very epic. There's very few glitter uh, figures made. Hopefully Dan Miller sell me that one with the red spray on it. Hint, hint, Dan. Here we got Space Godzilla. Marmot Vinyl Wars. There you got King Goji right there. Godzilla Monster Heaven. Or Marmot Monster Heaven. The EX Vinyl Wars Mecha Godzilla right here. This is an impressive figure. It's pretty big. And then I got a little Gashapon Mecha Godzilla. I believe I got that as an extra. Whenever you buy with, um, what's that called? Um, I'm so sorry about that, guys. Vinyl Kaiju Legion, he goes in and he, he throws in these little extras. It's part of what I like. You always get surprised there. Godzilla Vinyl Wars, or Marmot. Desu Goji. This one didn't come in a traditional bag. This one actually came in a box. Miri Goji. Blue Vinyl. 
brown paint, very epic, very sexy. Another GMK M1. I love the fucking foot stamp on these guys. In the back there, Godzilla Vinyl Wars, King Ghidorah. This was uh, for the movie premiere. Orga, Glow in the Dark, Mike Johnson right here. There's two of these and I have both of them, Glow in the Dark. Very epic figure. A little mini Desu Goji, Gashapon that I had painted, just to give it a little more personality. And a couple of highlights. Another little Gashapon, Toto, the older one. It was an amazing, amazing movie. I love this guy from uh, Gamera the Brave. A little different take, but still awesome. Kiro Goji, tinsel filled. You can see some of that glitter come through from it. That sheen. Very awesome. We move down. We got another Miri Goji. And another badass Maru San Hedora. This is one of the OGs, one of the classics right here. I got my friend Jeffrey Mullick to thank for that. As many of my figures, a lot of the figures in my collections are from him. Here's another, I believe this is a Van Presto, if I'm not mistaken. Sega. This is a Sega Gamera signed by Hirofumi Fukuzawa. A miniature or Gashapon if you like. Um, Shin Godzilla. Very nice. I think that's a bootleg. It feels solid. This right here is the actual one. It's a Bandai. Very nice. GMK M1 Barogon. Very epic, sexy figure right there. Another Desu Goji. Another Rattle Goji. I really love that figure. Rattle Goji's very awesome, very impressive. <clears throat> Sun Guts GMK. I love the GMK. That's one of the big three for me. Orga, Bandai, one of the few that I decided to keep. Another Miri Goji. Here we got a Maru San Hedora that I had painted myself. I've painted about four of these, sold three, and just kept this one. Toto, Camera the Brave, Bandai. Godzilla Vinyl Wars, Marmot Gigan from Final Wars. This is a very big figure, very, it takes up a lot of space. It's very impressive in person. Another M1 Godzilla, GMK, followed by Miri, Miri Goji, Godzilla 2000. And the other guy, um, Orga, Glow in the Dark, very epic. Go down to the last final shelf down here. Another Marusan Macha Hedora right here. Violante Bandai. I just recently acquired it. The only reason I bought it was just because it's such a badass sculpt. And I love Violante Gamera. Another Orga. This is from the Godzilla Vinyl Wars. Giga Brain King Goji. The last of my SH Monster Arts GMK. The only reason I didn't sell this one, well, two reasons. I love GMK and this was a gift from my wife. Couldn't part with that. Another M1 GMK. Another Maru San. This is the Night Cherry Hedora. Back there, another Marmot Mecha Godzilla. So there's two of those guys, except this guy's regular size. While the XE version is pretty big. Marmot King Goji, Godzilla Vinyl Wars. There's a Giga Brain King Goji. Gaios, Bandai. I have all the cards for these guys, the ones that don't have them attached. There's another Marmot GMK. Bandai Mecha King Ghidorah and another Miri Goji. That's probably my favorite one along with the red one. 
there you guys have it hopefully you guys enjoyed this review check it out if there's anything here that you guys want to see me review let me know if there's any figure that's a Sufubi Godzilla that you guys would like to see me acquire and review let me go ahead and know I'll go ahead and take that challenge but that's pretty much what I got right here guys hopefully you guys enjoyed this review it's almost impossible to get the whole thing in shop for now take care of yourselves take care of your figures keep the kaiju faith alive guys see you guys in the next review goodbye